Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot. I'm here to do your singles reading for the month of May. You're single, you're absolutely single. This is not for couples, okay? This is for singles only. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are a couple, this is not for you. You shouldn't be watching this reading because you, you really need to get out of your current relationship first before you watch a singles reading because you're not single yet. So this is for singles. I'll just put lotion on you. This is going to be a quickie. So we're just going to see what comes up. Maybe you're going to get a quickie. Mm. Mm, lack of it. You may not, you know, you got to put in effort. You have to put in effort. You, you may not be getting what you deserve because you're not putting in effort. You may be hanging on to a karmic contract that is gone south, you know. Um, Empress, you could have a Taurus or a Libra coming into your life. Could be anybody else. But this is um, birth of a new life. This is a, this is a opportunity to <laughs> receive some sort of blessing. She gives birth to a blessing. She, she is a blessing. She gives birth to a blessing. It's a miracle. She gives birth to a miracle. So if you are the woman watching this, you could be you could be a blessing to somebody. You could somebody could be seeing you as a blessing. Or if you are the male, you could have a this is a Taurus or a Libra that could be coming into your life. There's curiosity here. There is curiosity. You could receive some communication. You could be communicating some with somebody who sparks your curiosity put it that way mm. somebody has been lying maybe to themselves okay because this is somebody that has been investing in a dead end okay this whatever <clears throat> in an unrealistic situation this is being unrealistic. There's no communication. You're, if you don't communicate with people and you don't put yourself out there, you're not going to get what you deserve. That's a message somebody needs to hear. There is lack of communication here. So Scorpio, you have to put yourself out there. You got to communicate. You got to open up. You got to plant your seeds someplace else. Oh my God, you guys are, 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 you may be being overly critical of people. You may be misjudging people. You may be protecting yourself. Oh my goodness, you're sacrificing yourself needlessly for something that has already crum crumbled down. And it's time for you to find the confidence and the courage, seriously, to just move forward, to face your fears, okay? Face your fears. Have no fear. It's it, it's time to, you know, see the facts, okay? What are the facts of the situation? The facts is, whoever it is that you are holding on to, there's no foundation there. There's no stability there. There's no communication there. It, it, it's really time for you to take swift action in a new direction. You need to release this false sense of security, the false contract, the false partnership, the falseness, whatever it is that you're hanging on to. And this is for singles. So you singles that are watching this, and I know I'm going to get, there's one lady that's a Scorpio out there. She thinks every reading is for her. And she's like, well, that's not me. Well, then this reading isn't for you. I've been single for a while. Well, then, you know, I've been single and I'm ready. Well, this reading isn't for you. We have somebody here that is holding on to a false sense of security, which is hindering them from communicating and putting themselves out there with other people. There's an opportunity for a new life here. There's an opportunity to receive a blessing if you can let your guard down and you can open up and you can be more spontaneous and get curious, flirt, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Seriously, release the anxiety, release the fears. Put yourself out there. Stop worrying. Stop feeling guilty. Don't let guilt hold you back. 
somebody who is holding on to a false sense of security that has already crashed. It's already ended. They're sacrificing themselves, their happiness by not communicating with other people, not, not allowing it. You know, this is this is discovering that you have this. Is, it's a great big world out there. There there is a great big world out there. So we, I feel like we have somebody that may be discovering that we're at this crossroads right here. We have an opportunity to step into the unknown, to step over the edge, to unlock a new opportunity. You have the opportunity to go down a new path right now. You have an opportunity for a new passionate start. But you have to make that choice to leave the past behind. Get excited. And I feel like there is kind of a little bit of excitement here. You may be, you may be at this point right now where you're really, really, really close. You're really close to stepping over that edge. But you still may not know what you deserve. You may not. You may not be able to give to another person. Maybe you're, you're still hoping to receive something from the person that lied to you. The person that did you wrong. Okay? Um, there's lack of courage. There's lack of competent, confidence. Somebody has lost their focus. I think it's I think it's you. I think it's you. I think it's you, Scorpio. I think that you have lost your focus. You've lost your vigor. You have. You've lost your vigor because you've been investing in a false sense of security when you have an opportunity to step over the edge into the unknown territory. Somebody's holding on to a one sided situation where there's no reciprocation, you know? It's, it's time to be happy again, but you have to take that happiness in your hands. You have to see the light. There is, and I think that you are starting to heal, but you may not be fully healed, okay? Um, you are probably not fully healed from a situation, and that's why we're struggling here. Somebody is struggling to step over their edge. They're struggling to go down that new path. Because they, there's been an injustice. Somebody has lied to them. Somebody has done them wrong. And they're still holding on to the injustice. Still holding on to the hope that, you know, there's going to be reciprocation. I have to tell you that you're wasting your time. Because there's no growth with whatever it is that you... There's no hope that, you know, there's going to be reciprocation from whoever it is that did you wrong. It's time for you to go down that new path. You have the birth of a new life here. But you're going to have to love yourself first. You're going to have, you deserve love. And you may not know what you deserve. Seriously. Seriously. The justice reverse, the six of coins reverse, the ace of cups reverse. You may not know that you deserve a blessing. You deserve a reward. Yes, you've been through a lot of pain. It's time for you to receive a reward. This is a reward. She gives birth to a reward. But if you don't love yourself enough to go after happiness, if you if you are loathing, this is self-loathing, the star reverse. If you're letting your insecurities and if you're being protecting yourself and not, you know, opening up and communicating with others because you're holding on to the false sense of security, then <laughs> you have to make that choice. You have to make that choice to break free, let go, let go, let go. Let go of the fears, let go of the, the guilt, let go of the regrets, let go of this, let go of it all. Let it all go. So you can't you keep looking back. We have somebody here that keeps wanting to go back. And you know what that's doing? You see where I laid the card? I never know where I'm gonna lay the cards. You keep wanting to go back to what hurt you. And you know what's what you're losing out on? love you're losing out on wish fulfillment by looking back at a one-sided situation that crumbled already you are losing out on love and wish fulfillment and happiness by looking back at this one-sided unjustified uh, false sense of security so please Stop looking back. You have an opportunity for love and happiness and wish fulfillment. If you could just look in this direction and not that direction. Change your direction. Change it. 
You, it's an injustice to yourself. You are doing an injustice to yourself. You are cheating yourself of love. Anyway, singles. The, they have an opportunity. This is an opportunity. So yes, there's an opportunity to move forward. But if you keep holding on to the betrayal, if you keep holding on to the pain, you're only suffering. You're causing your own suffering. You're choosing to suffer. It's time to broaden your horizons. It's time to start over. It's time. This is this is this page finds the focus, finds the backbone to start over, even though it's not easy to try new things, to do things they've never done before. You know, it's time. It's time for you to try new things, open yourself up, put yourself out there, be spontaneous, allow yourself to have some fun. Go have fun. Stop holding on to the unfinished business that doesn't lead for wish for, for doesn't lead to wish fulfillment. Some of you are holding on to an emptiness. Something that has come to an end that you're refusing to step over that finish line. You have to do it. It's like you, you have a big, huge opportunity here. You may have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Taurus. This is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could have Libra. I don't know. That's reverse, so don't go with that. But Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have everybody, so it doesn't really matter. But it could be a Taurus or a Libra. Could be a Taurus. I think it's a Taurus or a Libra. I do. But I could be wrong. Anyway, you have an opportunity to have a new beginning, but you're holding on to something that has already ended. It's like you're trying to fight the universe. This is the universe. This is the universe. They're both reversed. You're trying to fight the universal plan by... It's, or you're hurting yourself. You're suffering over an ending that has already happened. When you have a golden opportunity to start fresh... And receive some sort of blessing. So I feel like you are probably going to be communicating with somebody that may want to, you know, start something with you. But you're going to have to allow it. You're going to have to choose. It's your choice. It's your choice. It's your choice. It's your choice. You want to keep holding on to the dead end? Do you want to keep suffering? Do you want to keep holding on to the one-sided false sense of security that has already crumbled it's already done or do you want to be loved do you want to be nurtured do you want to be taken care of the empress you don't have to chase no opportunities opportunities chase her because she doesn't settle she doesn't settle for less if you are this empress truly and you the empress is not holding on to the past so if you are that woman who is not holding on to the past, you probably are going to receive some sort of reward, a blessing, a golden opportunity. You may receive an invite. You could receive a gift. You could receive an offer from somebody who wants to start something with you. They want to take you out, whatever. They're very curious. They see your beauty, whatever. If you are this woman, somebody is seeing your beauty and they're probably going to make an offer to you. If you are the male watching this, this is the woman that you have potential. This woman can nurture you. This person can take care of you. This person is generous. This person is beautiful. She's, she's, the, she's the deal. She is it. So anyway, I feel like a lot of you are definitely holding on to a false sense of security when you have... An opera, you have a blessing. It's like this is a blessing waiting for you. Don't let fear, don't let pain, don't let guilt, don't let regrets, don't let any of that hold you back from this true blessing that is like right in front of you. Step over that edge. That's my advice. Stop settling for less than you deserve. The Empress does not settle for less than she deserves, and neither should you, male or female. 
Stop investing energy in something where there is no growth. It's time to plant your seeds someplace else. So you probably are going to re or be communicating, I think, with somebody new. It, the choice is yours as to whether you want to keep holding on to the past or move forward. It's up to you. It's a true blessing. Good luck.